looking here at some lungs, what we've got is a plastic model showing both lungs from an anterior point of view. We can see here on the left-hand side of the screen, we've actually got the right lung because it's an anterior point of view. And we can hopefully see we've got a superior lobe, a middle lobe, and then an inferior lobe. And that'll be a bit easier to spot if we turn the model slightly on its side there and see that we've got superior, middle, and inferior lobes. That means there are two fissures. So this one is the horizontal fissure. Now it's only horizontal at the front, okay? It's on a bit of an angle here higher up, but it's definitely horizontal here at the front. So the horizontal fissure is in between the superior and middle lobes. And then the oblique fissure, which is on an angle all the way along, is between the middle and inferior lobes. So horizontal fissure here, oblique fissure here. Now that's on the right lung, which has three lobes. On the left, we only have, it's a smaller lung, so we only have two lobes, superior and inferior, and one fissure, an oblique fissure there in between the two. Now both of the lungs also have an apex, which is just the top. So the top, the most pointy bit, the top of the lung there is the apex. So that we can see quite clearly right here. Now the other structure we're interested in today on the lungs, we need to take off the anterior part of the lungs to see it and also remove the heart. And so here we've got an opening on the medial surface of the lung where all the blood vessels and airways are going in and out. So here in red, we'll have pulmonary veins in blue, pulmonary arteries, and then in light blue and white, we have the bronchi. So that's what we've got going in and out, but the space that they go in and out through is called the hilum. So we can see the hilum here on the left lung and here on the right. Now also on this model, we can see the trachea in blue and white stripes running down here. The blue bits, of course, are the C-shaped cartilages of the trachea. And at the bottom, where the trachea splits into the two primary bronchi, so we have one here on the right, one here on the left, where it splits, you need to have a cartilage that is a different shape, that's not just a C-shaped cartilage, but that has two uh, almost complete rings there, and that's the carina. So the carina is this different shaped cartilage that we see here. So C-shaped cartilage is here on the trachea in blue, and then carina here at the bottom, and then the two primary bronchi come off the trachea there at the carina.